Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play a Little King Story. Now unfortunately because my Nintendo Wii froze, I have to post commentate the first half of this video. I know it's it's a shame, but technology does go wrong these days. So what I've gotta say, I'm I've lost quite a few things. I've not got any of the items that I got from Ginger the Artist. I need to get them again. Dakota is now gone, unfortunately, as well. Because I didn't save before the Dove Rock fight, so this was always a danger. Most of the treasure I got was gone as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting a brand new um, Royal Guard together. I was initially planning on getting... Um, a carpenter in there, but I've already done the bridge that I needed to do and now I'm just getting four, I think there's three lumberjacks one farmer and the rest are going to be soldiers uh, The reason I'm doing that is because the lumberjacks and the farmers will have a good time chopping down uh, the, well, the tower that Dove Rock stands on yeah. and uh, The soldiers will be there for attacking purposes obviously but yes, strange doing post commentary. I only do post commentaries from a Mario Kart LP, so it feels weird doing this. But hey, it's got to be done. If you if your console freezes, it, it's not my fault. It's if, if anything, it's Nintendo's fault. But I love Nintendo too much anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, just run past these sunflowers or moonflowers as they're called. And yeah, you should. I, have I shown you this place? I don't think I've shown you this place before. Anyway, this bridge you've got to build, and uh, a frog will jump out when you're trying to build it. Uh, this sign, you can read it for yourself. I don't think I flipped through it too fast, but basically, Dove Rock's a drunk. He likes to get drunk. Uh, he likes to party. He, uh, he likes peace and all that. He wants to stop war. He's a. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, choking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he likes uh, peace. He doesn't like war, but his drinking is a problem. So you know, it's sometimes these people have got to be eliminated, according to how she that is. I don't mind uh, people who drink alcohol. I don't drink it myself, but I don't mind people who drink alcohol. Uh, but yes, we do get an art piece. We get art piece. Uh, this is Poison Dragon by Sato. And uh, yeah, I don't know, couldn't get the number. Now, I did get damaged by the Onis there, so I went back to the fountain, which is just near the start. You need to crack it open with a farmer still, but you should all know that by now. So uh, I get my farmer in and I crack it open now. Yep, there we go. And I chuck everyone in just for good measure. Oh, I've got a blinding headache. <laughs> I can't be bothered doing this so much. But yes, uh, we still gotta, we've got to kill Dove Rock. I was determined to get past, past this headache and defeat Dove Rock. That was my main purpose here. Now I must say, I must reiterate, this this first half is post commentary. The second half will be live commentary. So uh, I hope you enjoy all the uh, frills and spills of battle. Let's just get the God Memo here. Uh, I'm not going to read it because I think I flipped through it too fast. But it basically tells you that Dove Rock will be firing fire and ice at you and he'll be standing on a bunch of crates. Uh, you've got to try and uh, get your guards to climb up the crates to attack him and the lumberjacks and the farmers will knock out the crates themselves. Um, knocking down his crates will... Uh, I, I think it, he loses health every crate that he loses, but every time I've tried it on practice... You know, practice goes. I, I've, it's never happened to me, so I know. I don't know. I don't know what I can say. <laughs> but anyway, we've got a cutscene coming up, and we get to see the, for the first time the drunk, the who is Dove Rock, and what what a man he is. <laughs> he is a hero for everyone. Well, no, not really. King Dan is a hero for everyone. Everyone wants to be like King Dan. <laughs> But anyway, we've got this whole Japanese feel with the flutes and the and the drums and the blossoms and all that. And uh, yeah, there's Dovarok standing on his beer cases. He drinks a lot, believe me. He's even got alcohol in his crown. And the, the way he says things, every time I try to say it like he does, I sound like Sean Connery, or well, any kind of James Bond, because he, he puts H's into words, like something, so it ends up being something. <laughs> and because I'm British and all that, I say it all English, I kind of sound like Sean Connery, I believe so anyway. Let's do something, Mr. Little King, that, yeah, that's terrible, terrible, I don't do impressions. <laughs> Anyway, uh, he's going to have a whole whinge and a moan about how, uh, how drunks can accept, say they're drunk and all that. And then he's going to praise his own beer belly, which is lovely. It is a lovely beer belly, by the way. It is magnificent. I don't think you could say anyone has any better than that, believe me. 
What a mighty beer belly it has. <laughs> this magnificent. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, yeah, he goes, oh, F you, and the lights come on. Hooray. Now we can see. Anyway, this post commentary is about to end. We're going to go into live commentary in a second. Uh, this has been a real tough episode to record, thanks to my Nintendo Wii freezing. But I'm getting there. So anyway, enjoy the live commentary that's about to happen round, round about now. And it's boss fight time. Once again, we are in, we're fighting for a kingdom, and this time it's King Dovrock. And Dovrock is a pain in the ass. This is one of the deadliest uh, bosses you'll face in the entire game. Anyway, before anything, take out these two Onis at the right and get this fountain going on. Gosh, I hate this guy. Right, um... I'm going to try and play this guy as bravely as I can, but... He is a pain in the ass, a royal pain in the ass. Yes, he's a king and I said royal, <laughs> so I'm so hilarious. Now, usually he will only ever do his fire and ice attacks when a red glow happens. So usually you should only call your guys back when that red glow is there. However, I'm going to start calling my guys back a little earlier because he does fire quickly and it does take quite a bit of time to get all you, all you guys back to you. When he does fire fire though, watch out for embers that like, kind of like trail um, across the ground and watch out for ice as well because the ice will actually uh, freeze you, all, all of, uh, the ice will actually freeze you if you get too close to his attack and the um, icicles crush you badly <laughs> so you don't want to mess with this guy. This guy is one deadly drunk. <laughs> Save the sauna for as long as possible. Right, he just did a burp, which is kind of like a fake out. Don't worry about that. Um, he doesn't. He's not doing any damage though. He's not doing any attacks. If you just see that burp, just go in for the kill. He does do a kick attack, so when your guards do climb on him, um, they will suffer damage. So watch out. Watch your health carefully. Come on, get, your guy, get guys in here. This guy is a pain and I hate him with every fibre of my being. When he loses crates, when he loses enough crates underneath him, he will start bringing other enemies into the field. Um, he'll bring two sets of enemies. The first set are hoppers, who you should know from when the ambush just before King Shiskababu's fight. And... Um, uh, Oni men as well. Who we are those big guys with the blue clubs? With, with yeah, the blue club, uh, which swing around and kind of uh, kick your ass. So you need to watch out for both of them. I recommend saving the sauna, the first sauna, till um, just uh, just as the hopper men come in. We're going to message when the hopper men come in. So stay here, stay safe. <laughs> And always stay in attack formation as well, it seems to help more. Uh, you guards will turn into snowmen if they get caught in that frozen blast, so watch out. Uh, they, I think they do eventually melt of their own accord, but if they don't, uh, if they don't, then the fire will get them. The fire attack will get them, but obviously they'll lose health when they get hit by fire, as you would expect. <sighs> Oh, I am knackered tonight, guys. I'm really not in the mood for this, but I wanted to get three episodes done. This, no, sorry, two episodes done. This will be the second episode. All right, as far as health goes, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm tempted to just... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use the... Foot. Okay, I'm going to use the fountain now. I'm going to disobey my own orders, and I'm going to use the fountain now. You can use it twice, remember, and it'll, it'll take to full health both times, um, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on it. Right, wait till his ice is gone, and then fire everybody. Fire everything! Ugh. And keep firing, keep firing. Right, oh, the, the hoppers are here. Right, if you take a lot of damage from these guys, then uh, feel free to use your... Um, Feel free to use the sauna again. The only men aren't as hard as uh, the hoppers, so feel free to use the sauna again if you lose too much health. Try not to lose anybody from this from uh, the hoppers. All right, come on, come on, upstart. My hands are t t uh, no, the, the shaking basically. I get so nervous. I feel like I'm playing Mario Kart again. Uh, anyway, go watch my Mario Kart LPs. They're awesome. <laughs> Right, okay, he's gonna do a hoppering attack. The problem with these hoppers is 
they can run through your entire party. And it's, that's just not good. I think I've got all of them now. Have I got all of them? Don't worry about touching the icicles once they're actually dropped. You just need to worry about them dropping on your head. <laughs> As you could expect, uh, icicles on the head, lots of pain. <laughs> How am I doing for health? How am I doing for time for that? In fact, in... Uh, yeah, I'm running out of time. So anyway, guys, we've got Dovrock to kill. Can we do it with the guards we have? Find out next time on Let's Play Little King Story. See you later, guys.